In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to uh, work with the, our new documentation site. Um, this is meant to just kind of give you a quick overview in, in how to do some of the basic functionality in working with the system and, and to really encourage you to get in here and start updating documentation, including project and general documentation. So let's, let's get started. So uh, the, the site is just at uh, docs.thebrickfactory.com. You can go to the home page. From here, you can um, go to a getting started page. You can also see a few of the main sections of the documentation site. Uh, let's let's first talk about how you edit a page. So to edit a page, you go to um, you go to the page you want to edit, and then you click this edit this page link at the left. Uh, that'll take you to this uh, WYSIWYG look at deal, and it has a special syntax you can use. Um, let's say you're on a project page and, and you want to add documentation for a project you're working on. Well, you could come here, you click on edit this page, and then you you add a new row. So let's say uh, I've got a project called My Project, so we add it to this section here. Just hit enter. Uh, you, you'll want a link to the page, and it basically will auto-create the page or, or creates a link to a page where you can create it. So let's call this uh, just, just double brackets in my project. Now the double brackets is, is a way to link linking to other pages and that includes internal and external links. So if I just hit preview I'll see my project is here um, and if I wanted to give it a more friendly name I can separate the, the short name with a uh, pipe and give it a better name. So we'll call this my projects now if I hit save, it adds it here. Now, throughout the whole documentation system, you will see red and green links. Basically, green, mean, green links means that page has been created and it has content. Red links means it has been linked to, but the page hasn't been created with content yet. So in the case of my project, we have a page here, um, and it's red. So if I wanted to add content to that page, I could just click it, and I could come here and, and click on Create This Page. And then I can just add text, test and content, hit save. Now if I go back to the projects page, my projects link is now green. That means there's content. Now if I come here and delete it or edit this content, it's basically like deleting. So if you're deleting a page, you just come and edit it and you clear up the content and it basically doesn't think that page exists. And I could come here and delete this, this link from this page. So that shows you how to edit and add pages, and you can do that through the whole system. Now, it's recommended when you're creating a new page that you go through this process that I just went through, where you, you, you go to the page where you want to link to a new page, you add the link to the page, and then you you uh, you then click on the link and then add a, add the page from there and, add, and, and create content. That way, new pages always are linked to from somewhere. Um, you could also do um, use a search to create pages. So if I if I did projects, so you start with a colon projects and then the uh, the project name. So my project two. That would also take you to a page like this where you could also create a page. So that would be a quick way to do it. It's not recommended because then your it's your new page is not linked to anywhere, and so it's a little harder to find. And that's partially why I created the structure is it, it creates uh, just a, a better flow. Now, if you're wondering about structure or you're wondering where a page is at, in addition to using the search, you can also go to the sitemap. So if you click on the sitemap, you can see the different trees we've got here. So we've got third-party documentation. We've got just general documentation. We went through different sub-items here. So you can click on each of these. You can click on the page from here. Um, and so if you do add an orphan, it will be linked to here, but again, it's recommended that you create a link to the page on the page where you want to link to from, and then um, go from there. Um, yeah, so that we went through covering the link colors, we went through the sitemap. I really recommend using the sitemap a lot because it's really easy to go there. You could also you know, if you know the name of the page, like the big four, you can search for it, and it comes up in the search, and it's in here. 
Um, another cool feature of the, the, this uh, documentation wiki is that um, if you create headers, it'll create, if you have more than at least three headers in a document, it'll automatically create a table of contents that will then appear at the top. Now, if we edit this page, basically headers are just created by creating, clicking on these headers, and, and you can look at the the tooltip descriptions of each of the header options, and that is a really cool feature that, um, so if you create a header and you want to create a subheader under that section, these will allow you to do that. You can go up and down the, tr the header tree easily. Um, if you have questions on, on how the syntax on the edit or add screen, there's a link to the syntax here, which kind of goes through some more details on there. So yeah, get in here, start creating pages, edit pages. We really want you to use it. Um, and, and we want it to be the source for our documentation.